Well, good day once again. It's Jason Haynes here from QPL Rural here in Narendra with another weekly edition of the Haynes Report, your snapshot of the rural property market and agricultural industry. Well, another small amount of rain again overnight. Hopefully enough to keep things ticking along for a while, but we would like to see some decent drops and a profile of water in front of us there to secure the season ahead. Again this week, livestock markets have pushed forward. The Eastern Young Cattle Indicator is now sitting at just under 500 cents a kilo carcass weight, while the National Trade Lamb Indicator has surged to 688 cents per kilo carcass weight, and mutton has broken through that $5 a kilo to be sitting at 510 cents per kilo. This is classic supply and demand at work, and wouldn't it be nice to have some more rain so we could look at supplying more in a market like this? Now the lack of rain certainly has tightened up the water market with most markets now closed for the end of season and will reopen next week. Everyone's looking towards system inflows at the moment and where that allocation might sit for the start of the season. It's certainly not encouraging with the current rate of rainfall but it must be said that with Barranjuk Dam at 40%, Blowering at 66 and Hume sitting at 42%, while there will be a significant amount of this water that is carryover water, the dams are still rising and it wouldn't take much of an event to start seeing some allocations come through for the new season. Now when you convert all this information to the rural property market at the moment and you start looking at record prices for beef and lamb, you start looking at restricted water allocations and restricted supply, there's a good opportunity out there for property like Waco. Strategic purchases of property such as this will allow you to capitalise on high prices when everyone else is struggling to supply. An irrigation property like this would allow you to take advantage of these circumstances and allow you to trade stock and create wealth when others can't. Waco is a very diverse property coming in at 2,800 acres. It's connected to town water and MIL water. It comes complete with 1,850 megalitres of delivery entitlements, six MIL outlets, three phase power connected to, throughout. It has three homes, two four bedroom homes and one three bedroom home. It has three stock and domestic outlets and a three stand shearing shed and three hay sheds. It's rich black soils and diverse layout make it absolutely perfect for beef, lamb, rice or development into a row cropping operation. The country is also perfect for cereal loosen production and provides the flexibility you need to capitalise on years just like this. Sitting at 2800 acres, this is a standalone operation or a good add-on block for somebody who's already got a breeding enterprise. It's only three hours approximately out of Melbourne and only about 15 minutes off the Murray River. A property like this does make economic sense and can provide real returns. Now what I haven't mentioned about this property is there's approximately 400 acres of pasture already irrigated and up and going. It's not too late, you could jump on this property and very quickly be producing prime lamb or prime steers. Now for our second property this week, another reminder that Talinga, our irrigation property near Colliambly, will have its expressions of interest closing at 5pm on Saturday the 30th of June. This is a 1,472 hectare property that comes very, very well equipped with a five bedroom home, some very good machinery sheds, a four stand shearing shed with what must be said is an exceptional set of sheep yards. The property is laid out with check bank irrigation and has connection to the Carabri irrigation system and three deep zone two bores with a combined output of over 70 megalitres a day. Talinga represents a very good opportunity for somebody looking to get into winter cropping or irrigated cropping, irrigated summer cropping such as cotton and maize, or a permanent planting such as almonds. As I said, time is very quickly running out, so I do encourage you to get on the phone right now and give me a ring and put your hand up for the expressions of interest that do close Saturday at 5 p.m. Now as we head towards the end of the financial year once again, and you are re-evaluating things and looking ahead, if you are considering testing the market with your property at the moment, we do have unprecedented demand for grazing country, both fattening and finishing, along with irrigated cropping and dry land cropping country. So if you're even thinking about testing the market at the moment, or if you've got a two or a five year plan that you want to be looking at selling some country, please give me a call on 0488 594 450. We'll come out and sit down and make a plan to cover the next few years to give you an idea of where your property might sit in the marketplace 
and give you the opportunity to take the most away from the sale of your most valuable asset. Now, as always, if you'd like any more information, please give me a call. I look forward to talking to you all again next week. Cheers.